Hi, my gardening angels, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jess, and today I want to show you the biggest plant haul I think I've ever had. I got a lot of really fun stuff, so I wanted to give you guys a little tour of all of the goodies that I picked up. Um, I have some really rare stuff, and then I have some more maybe uncommon items as well, at least for here. So I have been saving up a lot of money um, and trying not to buy a ton of plants. And then we recently went on vacation to Minnesota and they had a lot more greenhouses than we do here. So I bought a lot of really fun stuff from them. So I wanna show you the one that I was most excited about first. And this is my Monstera elbow. This has been on my wish list forever as I'm sure it's on a lot of your guys's as well. So currently I just have one leaf and then there is a little growing point. Oh, let's see if I can, there. There's a little growing point right there, if you can see it. Um, I'm really excited though. This leaf does have some good variegation for what it is. Um, I'm really hoping that this one grows quickly so that I can see its new growth. So we got this Alocasia Low Rider. It did have two babies that I've already um, broken off of it. So got that one going a little bit. Then this is the an Alocasia, Alocasia Dragon Scale. And it has a new leaf coming, so that's really exciting. The Alocasia baby, this one is mine. I didn't buy that one. Then we have an Alocasia Stingray, which I was so excited to find because I've been looking for this one forever and haven't been able to find it. It's not looking the best. Um, some of the leaves are pretty crunchy and yellow, but it was the best one that they had and I haven't been able to find them, so I went with it. And then the last two here is this one is an Alocasia Purple Sword. And I thought this one was really unique just because the stems are so dark. Um, I really liked that one. And then right behind it is the Alocasia Boa. And these have very similar shaped leaves to each other, as you can kind of see. But this one um, isn't purple, and this one's stem is. And then there is this one, which is a ginormous philodendron lickety split. There are tons of babies in here, and I'm planning on separating them all out. So, <laughs> fingers crossed that I'm actually able to accomplish that, um, and it doesn't take me all day. But this one is so much fun, and I saw this actually growing down in Florida, and I really wanted to add it to my collection, and I had no idea what it was called for the longest time. Did some research, finally figured it out, and then um, nowhere around here carried them. And then when we were in Minnesota, I found this massive one, so I'm really excited for that one. Then this is another one that I am so excited about. This is an anthurium. These leaves, you can probably even see it in the video, are so velvety and they're so big. Um, I am obsessed with this plant. I have been wanting these for so long too. Um, this was a second wish list item that I had and you can see there's some new leaves coming. I think I have two new leaves. So really excited about this one as well. We don't have any anthuriums when I, where I live in any of our nurseries, so this one was a really exciting find. So far, I haven't been able to put this one in the greenhouse yet, sitting right outside, but this is a um, philodendron jungle boogie, and there's a few plants in here, and I just loved the shape of these leaves. I thought that it was really unique, and I hadn't really seen it before, so I was really excited for this one, but it's a pretty decent sized plant and there's a few in there. So I'm really excited to um, add this one to the collection. Then I still have these ones in the box, um, but this is a variegated burl, uh, philodendron variegated burl marks. Um, and it has some really fun coloration on their leaves here. I'm hoping to get this one staked up. Um, let me see if I can pull it out. This one has quite a bit of growth coming. Um, I'm hoping to get this one kind of on some sort of pole and hopefully get some bigger leaves out of it. Then, I'm sure this one's become quite more common recently, but this is a philodendron Florida green, I believe. Yep. Um, and we don't have these available here, so I was really excited to find this one as well, but 
that's its brand new leaf. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, yeah, there's another leaf coming. So this one's doing really amazing as well. And I was really excited to find that one. And then this one here, I'll just leave it in the box, but this is a Monstera Peru. It needs a little bit of a dusting, um, but these leaves are really big. I mean, they're about the size of my hand. So I'm really excited about this one as well. Um, this, I just love the texture of these leaves. Then I've seen angel wing begonias um, come out more, but uh, I haven't been able to get my hands on one. So I found this for a fairly decent price. And so I wanted to pick him up as well, but look how pretty, it's like a perfect little angel wing pair. Then I also found uh, Scandapsis exotica, a really fun plant. I'm hoping to get this one either staked up or in a hanging planter, but I think I kind of want it to climb, uh, but I really do like the coloration of this one. And then these are the two little low rider babies that I was able to propagate from that one. So that is a lot of my plants and I kind of went a little crazy, but that's okay. I had a lot of fun finding these. Um, I actually got a lot of them from the Tonkadale Nursery in Minnetonka, Minnesota, and then a Lost in the Forest um, which I believe was in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Highly recommend. Both of them were really fun. Um, Tonkadale Nursery was more of a large scale nursery that had a lot of outdoor plants as well and just had a big selection of houseplants. Lost in the Forest is a houseplant store kind of in like a little shopping center, um, but it was amazing. She had a lot of really fun, rare stuff um, like my Monster Elbow and that variegated Burl Marks. Um, the Florida Green, uh, the Anthurium. So she had a lot of really fun stuff in her store as well, and I had a lot of fun shopping there. So I highly recommend if you're in Minnesota to go check out those areas. Um, they have a lot of really fun stuff. But I hope you guys liked this video. I'm sure you'll see a lot more videos. I'm probably going to post one of me uh, repotting that ginormous philodendron lick lickety split. So um, Stay tuned for that. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.